Yeah, so it's summer, which means festival season well, has officially. Take my shirt off. Yes, you should take your shirt off. Yep. And toss it over the balcony. Feel free. Good. A uh, homeless guy will pick it up down there and turn it into a blanket. Perfect. Uh, and you and Fort Francis are going to be playing Ribfest this Saturday, which is two days from today. We are. Uh, a bunch of great Chicago bands are also playing. Yeah. Terriers, uh, Soft Speaker, Julia Cleese playing. It's going to be headlined by Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr., as well as the Kopecky Family Band. Yeah. Uh, you guys played Taste of Lincoln, which is in the exact same spot, a couple of years ago. Uh, I think we ever played Taste of We played Ribfest a few years Wasn't ago. Was it Ribfest? Yeah, I think it was the same thing. Taste of it takes like place further, on the exact same area. I think Taste of Lincoln is further south. On like, is it? It's like in Fullerton and... I feel like they're the exact right, same right, thing. I bet you both. It, yeah. I like Ribfest a lot. I like the food. Yeah, the food's definitely better. But uh, you guys play a lot of festivals yeah. uh, during the summer. And I wondered what kind of makes a perfect like festival set as opposed to something, say, at like a Shuba's or yeah. Lincoln Hall. Well, the first ingredient is sun. We've played a lot where it's been like, oh, it's raining. Yeah, your Taste of Chicago set was, yeah, was yeah, marred yeah, by rain. Yeah, it was boring, and I threw a few others, I think, a couple of years ago, where they, it, the weather didn't really cooperate. But yeah, basically, weather, um, there, it's a different environment than playing like Shubas or any sort of, any of the venues that we really play right now, because in those we do occasionally like unplugged kind of stuff, and some of the more, um, I guess, I mean, a lot of the stuff we're, we're playing now is pretty, pretty rock, but... But we like to peel it back in some songs, and we can't, we can't really do that outside. So, so yeah, we just like to basically have good weather, and we try to play fun, summer, summer-worthy summer songs. Yeah, you guys usually work a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but uh, interesting covers into your sets. Yeah. Uh, like, the last big one, I think, was uh, Summertime. Yep. The DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince yep. uh, yeah. summer anthem. Uh, what are you guys working on now? Anything, uh, anything special for the Ribfest? There won't be anything in time for Ribfest, uh, cover or new cover wise, but we are working on we're playing Colorado and uh, in July and okay. we're working on like a bunch of we have a running list of cover ideas. Are they all uh, marijuana related? Uh, all of them. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Have we played songs marijuana related? Probably not. Oh okay. Uh, oh we're going to Colorado. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, but, um, yeah, some of them are kind of like fun, like soul Motown-esque things that I, I mean, we'll see how they come together, but, but yeah, we'll be, we're going to work on a bunch of stuff to try to have like a wider catalog of covers to pick from. Okay, and you guys have, uh, it's been a little quiet yeah. on the Fort Francis front. Yeah, it's uh, been nice. Had six months or so. Yeah. Uh, you guys had a pretty good 2013. Yeah. You put out an EP, uh, you put out a little single. Yeah. Uh, Breathing Room, yeah. uh, that also included some nice remixes from Jason and Ryan. Yeah. Uh, but you guys are working on something new now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of nice to not... Uh, last last year, we kind of felt the, like, let's release more stuff so we have a reason to get out on the road. And let's, and I feel like we didn't... I mean, it, well, we loved all the stuff we put out, but, but it's... Um, it's nice to, like, basically just focus on songwriting and recording now. So, yeah, we're, gonna, we're working on full length. Because um, we didn't really want to just put out another EP, um, even though this way that people consume and listen to music now has certainly changed. We don't necessarily need a full record. I like the opportunity to focus on it. So, um, so yeah, we're working on that with Sam Kassir, and it'll be done by it'll be done by the fall. I don't even. I, it probably won't be out until next spring. But so it'll be a quiet 2014 all around. But um, but that's okay by me. Yeah, well, I'm definitely looking forward to some new stuff, uh, and I wanted to ask you, since we're kind of friends, and I don't generally ask you about your own music, we kind of just talk about, like, Gavin DeGraw and how terrible he is, uh, I want to ask you, because I've seen you a bunch of times live, and it seems like you tend to shy away from, like, really big guitar solos and stuff like that, even though you're a pretty good guitar player, so I wanted to ask you... Now that we have this official yeah. uh, now thing going on, like this. Uh, why do you shy away from a guitar solo so much? They're not really written into the music, obviously. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, the big reason I'm, I'm 
I'm, uh, well, I have a lot of room to grow as a guitar player. Um, but even really just the makeup of our band, since there are just three of us, um, there's no other, there's no other kind of like rhythm based instrument that's full enough. Like, I mean, a, you know, a bass doesn't really, how do I put this? We're not, we're not the police, you know, the bass yeah. doesn't really fill it out where there can also be a guitar solo at the same time that easily. So, um, so it's not really that, that we don't want some more instrumental um, material to kind of take flight in the sections of the songs. It's just that as a trio, I think we've, we're, uh, we're like, we're better powerful, you know? So it's a yeah. lot of chord based stuff. Um, but, um, but yeah, we'll see where, I mean, the, the new stuff we're working on too, it's like, we kind of do this with a lot of the stuff we record. The new stuff is like, Super heavily textured, where we're gonna have to figure out how to play it after we record it, kind of. Yeah. So that'll be interesting um, with uh, with where we go with that. But um, but yeah, I basically I don't, I don't I don't do a lot of guitar solos because one, I'm not that great of a guitar player, and two, our uh, the makeup of our band doesn't lend well to it. Well, you laid down some some tasty grooves when you guys did a cover of a Radiohead song. Oh, uh, a couple years ago. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we. I, that's one. I have the, on that list of covers. We have like a like. We should refresh these. That's one of them. We need to refresh, relearn it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so it's summer in Chicago. Uh, you've been here for a while. I know you're not originally from here, but yeah, uh, you've lived here long enough. What's your favorite thing about Chicago in the summer, other than Red Fest, which is obviously yes, awesome other than and Red amazing? Fest. Uh, you know, my favorite thing, man, is like really early mornings by the lake, like. I love the view from Montrose Harbor. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple stuff, but yeah, I mean, just basically, it's like we live on an ocean, but not really. I mean, you know, the lake's big enough where it, it's a uh, kind of feels like there's like an endless array of opportunity out there. So I, yeah, I like to be out there like really early. That's probably my favorite thing. Nice. And here's just. An interesting little story for people who don't know either of us. Uh, you're from Columbus, yeah. Indiana, and I'm from Northwest Indiana. And a couple years ago, you and I were having dinner, talking about music, and we realized that, unbeknownst to us, we were both at the same County Crows show. Oh, that's right. At, uh, Purdue, right? at Purdue University. Yeah. And last year, you guys got to play the Outlaw Road Show, yeah. which was curated by Adam Duritz and uh, Ryan Spaulding. Yeah. And how did you get in touch with them? Um, you know, I just, we submitted for the Outlaw Road Show, kind of like, just, they didn't know us from, from any other email they got. And uh, Ryan, I think Ryan first listened to the day, maybe a day charter session. Um, and that's kind of how they got turned on to us. And, and, um, so yeah, we played at South by Southwest at their showcase, and then we played at CMJ. Um, and it's just a huge treat. I'm a big fan of Adam Duritz. It's lyrical songwriting. So, so that was, yeah, that was like a, a shining moment for, for me. Um, they were going to have a new record in September, I think, which is cool. So I'm really excited for it. Cool. Uh, so Ripfest is tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. You guys are playing at 6? 6.30. 6.30 on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and then, like I said, Kopecky Family Band is playing uh, Yeah, Saturday they're night, great. Which you guys have opened for them. Yeah, we've played with them. They're really good. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all the questions I have. David's going to be uh, kind enough to send us off with a song. Yeah. This is uh, an in-progress one. It's called Everything is Starting to Make Sense. Troubles with me. This is not a wake up call. This 
This is when you throw your faith against the wall. Everything, everything you started to make. Everything, everything you started to make sense. It won't be long, it won't be long, it won't be long. coming by yeah and man playing for, for us wonderful porch it's it is wonderful 